What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate the invoicing process on Zoho Books by creating an automation on make.com. Let's get started. The first thing you'll do is create an account on Zoho. After creating an account, you'll be redirected on this page right here. Now, to begin creating an invoice, you'll first of all need to add an item on Zoho Books. An item in this case could be either the product or service that you're offering or selling to a customer or a client. Now, in our case, I'll choose to sell a service like copywriting services. So here on the left, click on items. On items, you can choose to add your service right here and give it a name. In our example, we're using copywriting. And then click on save. After creating your services, you can also add active customer that you're sending the invoice to on Zoho Box. So on sales, click on customers and you'll be redirected right here. Here, we can create, let's say, two customers. So create a customer, just click on new. Now here we can create a customer. So for the first name, you can say Edward. For the company, we can say, you can say Annex. For the email, we can say Edward at annex.com. Then for the balance, you can say $1,000. And then click on save. Here you can also create another customer called Zach James. For the company, you can say he runs a company called Limitless. For the email, you can say Zach Limitless.com. For the amount, you can say $5,000 for this particular customer. The onmake.com, the first thing you'll do is rename our scenario, rename it to create and generate an invoice using Zoho Books. I'll search for Zoho Books. And the first thing I'll do is I'll list our contacts. I had already created a connection on Zoho Books. So here to create a connection, all you have to do is just click on add and then click on the region and then choose your region and then click on save. And then you, you can also rename your connection name right here. After creating your connection, you can choose your organization. My organization is LAX, as you can see right here. On our module right here, after creating a connection and choosing your organization, you can search by a criteria. This time, I'm choosing to search by email. For the contact type, I'll choose customer instead of vendor. For the status, I'll choose active. Instead of inactive, I'll choose to sort by contact name in ascending order. And then here, we can choose to add our limits. I'll choose to add our limit as five, then click on OK. When we run this module, you will see that it returns to us our contacts. So here we have Edward Kim and his email right here. We also have Zach with his email right here. Since we have our contacts, we can go ahead and get our specific contacts so we can begin creating our invoice for them. So here on Zoho Books, I'll Click on get a contact. For the organization, we're still using LAX. And for the contact ID, I'm going to choose a contact ID right here and click on OK. Now here I can choose to copy the contact ID. So we see if this module is working perfectly. So to run this module, we'll add our contact ID right here and click on OK. And here you can see we're getting our first contact, which is Edward Kim. Now with our contact, we can generate an invoice for our contact. The next thing we'll add is the service that we're selling them. On Zoho, I'll click on items to get an item. So on item, I'll click on list an item so we can list the items, the services that we have first. For organization, we're going to use Lux. And here we can sort by name if we have different services on the signing order. We can add our limiters too and click on OK. After running our module, you'll see the first service that you're offering is automation services and copywriting services. Now we're going to get the specific service that we are selling this particular prospect. So in our case, we're selling Edward copywriting services. So here we're going to get an item. Our organization is still gonna be Lux. For the item ID, we will we'll add our item ID right here and click on okay. So. When we run this module, we can pick the item ID. 
and paste the ID of copywriting services right here and click on OK. So you can see now we are getting copywriting services as a service that we are selling Edward right here. With our contact and the service that you are selling them, we can now generate an invoice for them. So on Zoho, I'll search for invoice. And here we're going to create an invoice. The organization is going to be Lux. For the customer ID, we are going to find the customer ID in our previous module where we are selling Edward our services. So for the customer ID, his customer ID is this one right here. For the contact person, we're going to get the contact person right here and then get the contact person ID. We're going to choose the invoice date. On date and time, you can choose to add now as our invoice date and pick a due date to let's say Monday the 17th. You can just write all these other details, discount, payment terms, but I'll choose to leave everything as empty and head over where it says line items. And then here we'll choose the service that we are selling our prospect. Now in our case, we're selling copywriting services. So we're going to add our item ID right here and our item name, which is copywriting services. We can choose to add the description right here. So I'll choose to add this, maybe the sales description. For the item type, I'll choose service as our type. After adding the item ID, name and description, you can just include all these other details if you want, but I'm gonna choose to leave them as empty and click on okay. After creating an invoice, we can choose to download the invoice before we send. The only thing I'll add right here is the ID of our invoice. So here I'll just add our invoice ID and click on okay. So it will download our invoice on our computer. And then the last thing that I'll do right here is email an invoice to our customer. So you'll choose to email an invoice and then add our organization and then add our invoice ID, which was this one right here. You can choose to add an email by customizing our email right here and adding all the details. But I'll choose to leave it as the default and click on OK. And then the last thing I'll do here is after a few days, I remind our customer to complete our payments by sending them a reminder, the unpaid invoice. So here I'll click on remind customer about unpaid invoice. Then here I'll choose organization and then choose our invoice ID right here. Now here we can set up a filter and call it invoice reminder. And then for the condition is if the creation date, if equals to add days, add now plus one since our invoice is going out now if one day before the invoice is due we are going to send this reminder email to our prospect to pay the invoice so here we are adding one day and clicking on okay and setting up our filter right here so now our automation is complete so we can auto align it and save it now let us run automation and see if everything works perfectly. Now to run our automation, all you have to do is just click on run once. So you can see that our automation over here, it failed. It says invoice cannot be raised for item, item automation services that has been deleted or marked as inactive. Now, because our automation services is inactive, here when we are, where we are listing the items, you can you choose to, you, to add a filter that filters inactive services. So here we can choose to, we can choose a simple filter. And here it says filter by, we can choose to filter by active and then click on okay. So now when we run our scenario, you'll see that our automation is running successfully. So here it's listing our contacts and getting both of our, and getting both of our contacts right here. So this is for Zach. And here we are getting Edward. And here we are listing the items. Since we are selling copywriting services to these contacts, we are listing the, the, the services and getting the service. Now with our service, we're going ahead and creating our invoice for our clients, downloading the invoice in our computer and emailing our invoice to our clients. You can see right here that the reminder email is not going out because the email, the invoice just went out right now. Now, one day later, these reminder will be sent to our customer's email 
reminding them to pay the invoice if they will not have paid the invoice by that time. So let me show you what the invoice looks like in our, on our email. So here on our email, as you can see the both invoices that we just sent to our prospects. So these are the sample invoices. So this one we're sending it to Edward and the other one we're sending it to Zach. So when you click on pay now, and then I'll click on pay now, here we'll see the invoice that we are sending to Edward. Edward works at Onyx. And this is the invoice that we are sending to Zach, selling copywriting services. The other one was copywriting services. So that's how you can create and generate an invoice using Zoho Books by setting up this automation on make.com. That was a quick tutorial on how you can create and generate an invoice using Zoho Books on make.com. If you have any idea concept or automation that you'd like for me to create just comment down below in the comments and then if i land on your comment and i find it interesting i'll come back on a future video making a video on the exact same topic or setting up the automation but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye